Well, check this story out. A massive asteroid the size of a three-story building is expected to pass the Earth this weekend. And your next question was, oh, the asteroid. Oh, you worried about the asteroid. Oh, wimp. The, well, there is an asteroid headed our way. Talk about something else that's falling from the sky, uh, and that is an asteroid. Uh, what What's coming our way? Is this an effect of, of perhaps global warming, or is this just some no, meteoric no. occasion? NASA is planning to knock an asteroid off course. Bet you wish you thought of that, dinosaurs. <laughs> Yeah, this could wipe out a city, it could wipe out a state, it might wipe out a small nation if it hits. This mission shows that NASA is trying to be ready for whatever the universe throws at us. I believe that NASA has proven that we are serious as a defender of the planet. This is a civil danger warning effective nationwide. Your most attention is required. All stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency notification message. This is not a test. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. An incoming non-terrestrial object heading directly for the Earth was spotted by the Mount Graham International Observatory in Arizona about 5 a.m. Eastern Time. The actual structure of the asteroid is thought to be a planetoid from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter and had become entangled in Earth's gravitational field feel 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 in someone else's shoes. <laughs> and the ability to explain things in simple terms without being condescending. That's <laughs> <laughs> my greatest power. The power of theater. Now I know some of you 
made me nervous. <laughs> and I understand. But don't worry. I'll take it from here. <laughs> I'm an actor, <laughs> an actor, <laughs> welcome sheep, your shepherds in the past, <laughs> this asteroid won't stand, not even a chance, it's an actor who sings, a strong mover at that, I'm an actor, <laughs> <laughs> to save the world, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the eerie, Miami, <laughs> Bonnie, <laughs> Potty, <laughs> Potty, <laughs> and now the peoples <laughs> We are grateful for their contribution. <laughs> past adventures, we'll find the way to stop this asteroid. Which one first? Well, it was that time I solved war. It all started when I was in Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> choreographer was, but boy did that on-screen violence look convincing. I knew I had to get in on the action. Before I knew it, I was on set and having the time of my life. But then, just as my character was about to push the climax of his scene, I overheard that Al-Qaeda was in an all-out war with a rival theater troupe from America called The Infidels. And it wasn't pretty. They were actually getting violent. I knew I had to help. After all, as an actor, I was the only one who could. <laughs> but what to do? Then, just as the scene was coming to a close, it hit me. Like a bomb. <laughs> why the guns? Why the knives? All the war does is ruin lives. Why the fuss when you can just dance? <laughs> Yeah. 
years Ruin lives Why the fuss when you can just dance? Why is there a genocide? Don't you dare make those tears hide anymore <laughs> Why choose war? Choose dance. <laughs> choose dance. Choose dance. Choose. Minus five minutes. <laughs> Dance! That's it! I've got my jazz shoes, my leotard. Wait. Just as I suspected. These floors aren't sprung! <laughs> <laughs> Accident, I thought of how much good I could do if I actually tried. But where was I to begin? I had to go straight to the source of world hunger, the root of the problem, Africa. <laughs> it was there I met a very special friend. Ubuntu. <laughs> when Ubuntu was 15 years old and weighed 14 pounds, <laughs> poor Ubuntu, he had bought into the skinny lie of Hollywood. <laughs> oh my God! An unattainable figure like the ones he saw on the big screen. <laughs> I was relieved. Ubuntu, <laughs> I said. I bring good news. I've got something even better than food. You can't be hungry when you're singing. You can't be thirsty when you're tuning your throat. You can't be hungry when Calories in a burps and a bridge. Dinner, it's not for us. Mr. Milkface, who <laughs> oh needs food when I have a song in my belly? Do you think I can try a helping of song right now, Mr. Actor? What he said next really shocked me. Americans are dumb and they're ugly. <laughs> here we're skinny and we run really fast. We're a very happy nation. So relieve yourself of that nasty white guilt. That part was lost in translation. The point is, here in the States, we've got food on the telly. There they have a song in their belly. No, no, 
Oh no! A song in your belly won't work either. Asteroids don't have stomachs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Maybe that's for the best. We keep asking ourselves the question, how are we going to stop this asteroid? What we haven't stopped to ask ourselves is, should we stop this asteroid? <laughs> <laughs> After all, this world, it's pretty messed up. <laughs> There's racism, misogyny, other stuff. <laughs> is worth saving, even if it's for those few people who are actually doing something. <laughs> Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Michelle Obama, Bradley Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say this. But how? How am I gonna stop this asteroid? My singing, my acting, my dancing, none of these things are strong enough on their own. On. <laughs> of course. How could I have been so blind? I'm sorry. How could I have been so visually differently abled? <laughs> <laughs> it was right in front of me the whole time. The audience. <laughs> you all. I can sing, dance, and act all I want up here. But I am nothing without you. You are the key. You hold the power. I live and die by your hands. I think if I'm right about this, we can collaborate to stop this asteroid together. <laughs> <laughs> Through the power of the standing ovation. <laughs> we might have a real shot. Everybody, stand. Please, stand. I need your help. We're in doom. Please stand. Yeah, yeah.